Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, and we're going to talk about Donald Trump. Yes, everyone's favorite topic. Um, it's been a big week for Donald Trump. Uh, come back and listen to the latest on the Donald. Yes, it's been a huge week uh, for Donald Trump. The, uh, the globalist attempt to uh, remove him from office has moved to the Senate, which is, of course, where it will be buried. But um, they've allowed, I think, three days. So we're going to find out pretty soon um, what happens there. Uh, I think maybe even by the end of the week or early next week. So, um, you know, uh, the, uh, the, sh the shift show has gone to um, the Senate, uh, which is obviously controlled by the Republicans. Um, so, you know, obviously he's not got the uh, kind of long lead that he's had in the, in the Republican. In, in the house. So, um, you know, and basically, you know, the two traders gotten up there, um, Schiff and Nadler, um, they are the two greatest, um, and Schumer, I mean, these three people are absolutely revolting, three people, they're revolting. And they're the main people behind this impeachment um, nonsense. And finally, it's made the Senate, and obviously they've been crucified there at the moment in the Senate, and then it'll be dismissed. So this impeachment will go nowhere, and that's a good thing. And um, I think it's another win for Donald Trump, so um, continue supporting the great man. Another classic incident happened this week. At the same time as they were trying to impeach him, which I thought was a very bold move from Trump, is he's flown to Davos, which is where uh, all the criminal globalist class meet, to essentially attempt to control uh, um, you know, our nations and our country and also where they pushed the uh, climate warming lie. And then right in front of um, Greta Thunberg, he's gotten up and just said, look, you know, you're all a bunch of doom doomsday, uh, you know, uh, cultists, basically. You know, basically what I was saying on uh, the report from Tiger Mountain recently, you know, you're all a bunch of um, doomsday cultists and, um, you know, it's all bullshit. There's been so many of these kind of predictions. In the 1960s, as the oil has gone in 10 years. In the 1970s, there's another ice, another ice age in 10 years. In 1980s, acid rain will destroy all crops in 10 years. In the 1990s, the ozone layer will be destroyed in 10 years. In the 2000s, the ice caps will be gone in 10 years. And none of it has happened. You know what I mean? And of course, we've got another 10 years now, you know, uh, apparently to save the, the world. Of course, until 10 years from now, when we'll have another 10 years. I mean, can't you see this is just um, a kind of... Uh, I, it's, it's an apocalyptic doomsday situation that they push every 10 years until eventually we do give up all this money that the United Nation wants. I mean, and let's even say that some of this hysteria is real. Giving you know, money to the United Nations isn't going to help. So, um, you know, it's really weird uh, the situation the new left is in in relation to climate change, because if it's fake, obviously they've been fooled. Uh, and we can ignore it to some extent, or at least the situation is happening at a lot slower pace. And if it's not fake, um, there's nothing Australia can do about it anyway. Even if it's 100% real, there's nothing we can do to stop it. Because in another really interesting graph that was on, that I got sent, it shows the global um, uh, actual carbon emissions of the countries. 27% is committed by China, 14% um, is committed by the United States, 7% by India, and Australia is 1% of that. So even if it's real, even if we were to cut our emissions down to nothing, it wouldn't do fuck all. So I think Donald Trump has once again had a full win going to Davos and given the uh, finger to the globalists. And once again, he just said it's bullshit. And I mean, that's why Donald Trump says it's bullshit. And that's why also Putin says it's bullshit. These guys are reasonably responsible world leaders. If it was real, they wouldn't say it was bullshit. They know it's fake. OK, they've had the NSA or the KGB investigate the situation and they've come back with the information. No, it's fake. It's, it's a globalist lie. And that's why they're both ignoring it, as we all should. OK, it's a bunch of bullshit. So um, let's move on and let's whatever we do, don't give this money to the United Nations or buy into this need for global government. Um, that is the message they're trying to push because it's all a bunch of bullshit. So Donald Trump is definitely fighting this class and just, just the way he behaved at Davos this week. So it's fantastic. Yet another win for the Donald. So it's a big year for Donald Trump. 2020, um, back him. Um, even if you don't love Trump on everything, definitely back him online. Uh, um, even Obviously, even if we're not Americans, but, you know, all, you know everyone's voice uh, echoes around the world. As um, Jordan Peterson said, you're only one or two people away from a, around uh, a million people on Facebook uh, and on Twitter and on um, Instagram. So get up there, support Trump. And, uh, you know, it's a big year for him. And I think he's going to win by a landslide in 2020. So thank you for watching the report today. And that'll do us.